Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is The Raptor and welcome back to another one of my reaction videos. So today I'm going to be reacting to the new Death Battle which came out just a couple hours ago, which is the Shredder versus the Silver Samurai. Now I'm honestly really excited for this fight. I've been excited for this fight for a pretty long time now. I know I didn't do a prediction for this fight because, you know, I, I just didn't have a lot of time to do it and I feel I really didn't know enough about the Silver Samurai in order to do it. I do know some stuff about these characters. In fact, I actually researched, um, the Shredder, and I got some research for doing Deathstroke versus Shredder, who'd win and why, which if any of you don't know is my own versus series that I do here, where I just talk about different fights and give my opinions, um, but I really don't know a lot about the Silver Samurai overall, so I decide, you know, I don't have a lot of time to do any research on him, I'll just leave a prediction, I won't really do it, um, but you know, I'm, I'm really excited for this, because I do know both of these characters to some degree, I don't have huge ties with them, but I do really like them. Um, I'm not really sure who I'm rooting for, because overall, I I do like Marvel more than I do TMNT, but I don't really have a specific preference for Sir for Silver Samurai over the Shredder, so I don't really know who I'm rooting for. In terms of who I think is going to win, right off the bat, I'm already leaning more towards Silver Samurai for winning after I've thought about it for a while. And the main reason is because, you know, sh like I believe Silver so much, uh, yeah, voice crack. Um to my knowledge, Silver Samurai actually does have abilities. You know, he can use his uh he can almost like charge up his sword, which can cut through nearly anything. I believe the only only thing it can't cut through is adamantium itself meaning that all silver samurai needs to have is like one lucky shot and then he could just cut um shredder up like butter because i'm sure his his suit is not made out of anything close to adamantium because that that thing is really strong and also just when it comes to experience you know yes shredder's a ninja but wolverine is also a ninja and shredder is a wolverine villain and he's fought him many times before and this is a ninja that also has adamantium claws and a ridiculous healing factor so i feel that shredder isn't really going to be very like isn't going to be really a new challenge for silver samurai whereas i feel shredder hasn't really fought anyone that has a sword that can cut through anything to my knowledge so overall, I just feel he has the better, ex Silver Samurai has the better experience. He, uh, I just feel that he can easily take Shredder out. Not sure how they compare in terms of physical stuff or how skilled they are, but that's what I'm going to watch the video for. So if they say that Silver Samurai wins, then yay, you know, I got, you know, I almost, like I have a win, you know, I got it right. Um, if Shredder wins, then, you know, as long as they can explain why in a really, you know, um, understandable way, then that's fine with me too, because I really do like both of these characters. I'm not really rooting for either one, um, but let's just get right into it. The video. I wanted to let you guys know we're having a huge clearance sale on the website. Discounts over. Oh, if you guys are interested in this, you know, hats, shirts, you know, go wear, to store.roosterteeth.com. So the They're having a clearance. Head over there and check it out. All right, but now let's get into the video. Death battle. Hundreds of years ago, the samurai and the ninja battled across Japan. All right. And these two fascinating ways of combat have been at odds ever since. I'm sure the they have. Shredder. So this is the ninja, of the ninja Turtles. and, silver and samurai, obviously this is the, the samurai, a silver samurai. Anything. He's whiz and I'm boomstick, and it's our job to analyze Ooh, their nice. weapons, armor, and skills <laughs> to find out who would win. I haven't played Marvel vs. Capcom 2, assuming that's what the game is from, so that was Beneath that was kind of cool. Beneath the streets of New York City, a secret battle wages between four humanoid turtles and a ninja covered in blades known as the, the Shredder. Shredder. A kitchen utensil? Many legends surround the Shredder's origins. Some say he's the reincarnation of an ancient Japanese warrior. Oh. Some say he's an alien disguised as a man. And <laughs> some say he's a bumbling idiot who sounds like Uncle Phil. But I don't want to conquer <laughs> Maybe in that TV show. I want to conquer her. <laughs> Either way, oh, that's so every funny. legend agrees on one thing. He's an absolute badass. Oh, yes. Before he was called the Shredder, he was a Rokusaki. Uh -huh. of the Japanese I knew that. Foot Clan. He trained alongside his rival, Hamato Yoshi. They weren't okay. just rivals in martial arts, but in the search for love as well. They both All right. pined for the lovely lady Tang Shen. Oh, but fighting over a girl. For our future Shredder, she only had eyes for Yoshi. Oh. Hamato Yoshi. Not the dinosaur, that'd be weird. Yeah, I, I assume. Jealous, Orokusaki attacked Yoshi, but in his rage, accidentally struck down oh. Tang Shen. No. Oh, man. Leaving Yoshi and his beloved for dead, Saki took over the foot clan. Okay, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty dark. Spree ...under his new name. Now you face the Shredder. That's a pretty cool voice. You know, I wonder, did, did 
Did he mean to name himself after a cheese grater? Speaking <laughs> of which, if his armor didn't make it obvious enough, Shredder's got a weird spike fetish. Oh, this yeah. guy's got him all over his legs, arms, shoulders. He has a lot head. of spikes. That's, That's pretty good for offense. Photo is a relic passed down through the Foot Clan for over 1,500 years. Wow, from that's the a long time. the clan's defeated enemies, it was formed into an alloy that's stronger than steel. Plus, it just But not as strong as Adamantium. Obviously, his armor is also a kick-ass weapon, and he can you gotta remember that. down with the Teko Kagi claws on his wrist. So he's pretty versatile, just reading everything out here. The hand hooks. Perfect for oh, they're factoring in Super it Shredder. Cover all that much, but he needs freedom of okay. movement because, you know, he's a ninja. Plus, yep. would you want to get anywhere near a guy covered in razors? <laughs> nope. I, so. I didn't factor in Super Shredder. Is of 18 separate disciplines. Whoa. And Shredder is a master of all of them. This includes huh. stealth, espionage, pyrotechnics, So he might be the better fighter. Plenty of weaponry. Yeah, like I have to look swords, at Silver Samurai spears, first before I can make that judgment. Weapons. But it's not like he needs him anyway. He's but I didn't factor in Super Shredder too. for Deathstroke now vs. Shredder on my his channel. Craft, the Shredder led the Foot Clan to New York City. Where nice. he found out Hamato Yoshi wasn't quite as dead as he thought. Oh, as really? As a matter of fact, Yoshi had transformed into a rat person and was raised... Oh, he's Splinter? I did not know that. With his wow, okay. The Shredder swore to end his lifelong enemy once and for all. Okay. Every time Shredder fought these ninja turtles, he proved why he's the leader of the Foot Clan. Yeah. I mean, he's strong enough to tear through steel shipping containers with his claws, chop That's down pretty trees in one sword swing, and throw around mutants several times his size like they're nothing. One so he's pretty strong. One head weighs well over 300 pounds. All right, I know that's the official weight according to some toy, but look at him! Compared to the turtles, he should weigh half a ton. Oh yeah, he should weigh more than that. The leather head chomping down on his midsection. The femur, the strongest bone in the human body, breaks at a pressure of about 1,700 pounds per square inch. Okay. A normal, unmutated American alligator can bite with a force of nearly 3,000 Oh, jeez. And Leatherhead's bite is surely stronger. Uh-huh. Shredder should have split in half. Yeah. Nope, he was back up kicking some leather butt literally five seconds Okay, so... The Shredder is a cunning... He has a lot of endurance. ...and talented warrior. He's fought eight mutants in combat all at once, disarming every single one of them. My Once God. More, while intimidating an Italian mob boss and his bodyguards, he did this. The most well-trained human eyes are capable of detecting movements okay, that was for quick. one two hundred twentieth of a second. Meaning okay. Shredder Slash could have been even faster than that. Yeah. But sometimes Shreds needs just a bit more juice to get the job done. Literally, when you see him crack so is this open super a green shredder? One, he's not doing it to hang out with the boys. In times of desperation, Shredder is known to resort to risking it all by consuming mutagen. Transforming okay. him into Super Shredder. Okay, so what is Super Shredder about? This is what I want to know. Because I think I already underestimated him. Different enhancements in different iterations. It usually grants him immense strength, inhuman durability, and even teleportation and the power to shoot lightning. Oh, really? Probably because mutagen's not an exact science, and it's bound to get random at times. That's true, All right. Boomstick. I did a science! Good job. <laughs> Good job, Boomstick. Well, he's toughed out a sword shattering against his skin and even falling around a thousand feet onto a steel beam. Wow. And you'd think this guy would never lose anything, ever. <laughs> <laughs> you'd also be super wrong. Yeah, okay. Shredder has his fair share of downsides. Okay. This includes a weakness to garbage trucks. Oops. <laughs> really? Newborn infants. Babies! The power of music. <laughs> okay, but these are like musicals. Fascination with eating his enemies. And Tonight stupid I movies. On soup. And wood. <laughs> Okay, are these real weaknesses? Jeez, for the 90s, always this stupid. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, despite his failures, the Shredder keeps getting back up. Faster, stronger, and much more terrifying. All right. The true battle. So I definitely Stop underestimated now. this guy. I want to hear Silver Samurai before I make any final judgments. In feudal Japan, a samurai wasn't your typical bodyguard. He was trained in the art of war and would yep. only serve the elite upper class. Honor All right. was the samurai's currency. But for the silver samurai, Kenoichi Harada, currency was just regular money. Because that's oh. just useful. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Kamada that. was the son of a powerful Yakuza crime lord. Unfortunately, okay. he could never inherit his father's empire for himself because oh. he was born illegitimately. Oh. A master. Wow, wait, no need to throw insults around, Wiz. <laughs> no, the literal definition of bat. Move on. Yeah, just move Wiz's on. Judgment aside, without a clear future, Harada decided to well become, become a, sam a samurai. Yeah, become a samurai. Why not? They're pretty cool, <laughs> right? Unfortunately, yeah. the way of the samurai no longer had a place in the present. Harada oh, knew yeah. that in a world full of absurd superpowers, he would need like to dedicate Wolverine. his life to the art in a way never seen. Like Wolverine's before. powers. He wouldn't just be a samurai; he'd be a silver samurai. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Blinged out like exhibits rims, he picked up on a few fighting styles. Okay. Not too many. Just Bajutsu, the art of horseback. Mujutsu, military strategy. Eijutsu, the sword-based quick draw. Tanto Jutsu. A lot of Jutsu. Jutsu being sneaky. Jujutsu. <laughs> That's like this is, is the sixth and one, I think. Well, Jujutsu and Karate <laughs> Do, which are both forms of unarmed combat. God, okay. How many more jutsu do you think you can fit in his brain? I don't even know That's like that eight way. of them. At least one more kenjutsu. The Nine. Art of Japanese sword I think. Fight. After all, what's a samurai without a katana at his side? Definitely. And that's what. In order to keep living, he had to get really good with swinging that sword. Yep. Luckily for Harada, he soon learned he had one of those absurd superpowers for himself. Oh, yes, yep. definitely. He's a mutant. Yep. Now who's being insensitive? <laughs> Harada has the ability to generate a tachyon field. With it, okay. it enhances sword, allowing it to slice through almost anything. Even mm -hmm. ghosts! <laughs> Even ghosts. Life, tachyonic fields are hypothetical particles with mass, which travel faster than light. A okay. definition which may explain how Harada's cutting ability works. So he uses his power on sharp objects. Well, that's too bad for everybody in Silver Samurai's way, because yep. he carries a lot of them. He's got throwing knives and shuriken ninja stars on hand for long range attacks. Okay. And of course, he always carries that katana. Yep. He's wielded many different swords, including the legendary Muramasa blade. However, he's not too picky about what kind of sword he carries. All right. With his power, any Good guy. blade Harada carries instantly becomes one of the most dangerous swords on the planet. Yep. Harada has one more trick up his sleeve. All right. A teleportation ring. With oh! It, he can warp around the battlefield for unexpected strikes. I had no idea about that. No, he almost lost it once to John Belushi. You know, the guy from Saturday Night Live? <laughs> Jocelyn told me about it once. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh After my god. Years of hard work, Harada was Oh my god, are we seriously playing an ad right now? Are we seriously I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I can wait, maybe I can. One second. Okay, I just played it again. This is at the very end. Truly a masterful okay. warrior. We're back. However, he still struggled to defeat one opponent. Wolverine. The Wolverine. Yep. Who killed his dad and got engaged to his sister. Oh. Uh, the shame well, I knew he got engaged to his oh, sister. Oh, she was next in line to rule the Yashida clan. Oh. Man, a triple. Needless I didn't to know say, he killed his father then. Harada challenged his own sister for the right to run the clan. Okay. And he won. After she was poisoned by an unrelated third party. Oh. Sometimes life just works out with... I uh, guess a win's sorry, a win, Wolverine. and that wouldn't be his last one. He's incredibly deadly in battle. He's so fast, he deflects bullets with his sword, and once even sliced a speeding bullet completely in half. Huh. In this instance, the gunman was standing 15 feet away when he fired the bullet at approximately 1,400 feet per second. Okay. This means that Silver Samurai was able to reach for his sword and accurately cleave the bullet in two in just over one hundredth of a second. Wow. Even if he didn't chop it in half, his armor is totally bulletproof. Shouldn't okay. even let him survive a friggin' building falling on top of him. Wow. But without his armor, he survived taking a sword straight through the lung and getting run over by a car from... <laughs> He's no slouch I guess. on the battlefield either. He's knocked Spider-Man unconscious, shaken off That's hits from good. Cannonball, and even defeated Spider-Woman in combat. Okay. At one point, he was dogpiled by Daredevil, She-Devil, along with a cheetah and a panther, <laughs> likely weighing over 600 pounds in total. Jeez. He threw them all off in one big push. And he's okay. always fighting with his number one rival, Wolverine. Yep. Speaking of which, while some may boast that Harada is the greatest swordsman in the world, Wolverine's mm. frequently proven to be his better. Yeah. yeah. He may be good with his blade, but his battle strategy isn't quite as sharp. Also, okay. his bulletproof armor doesn't cover everything, as seen here. 
Well, well even that was yeah. merciful compared to what happened when he went up against the four black samurai. Although okay. Harada defeated them all against impossible odds, he ultimately succumbed to his wounds. And mm. when he arrived in hell, Harada met the devil, who promptly killed him again by cutting off his head and smashing his corpse into So he killed him in hell after he's already dead. Damn! Wow. Never let it be said, the silver samurai isn't hardcore. Last okay. Yield. The silver samurai yields to no man. <laughs> okay, um, all right, this is actually source. really difficult. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of okay, so and has got an ad's gonna play. About a blue apron meal. Will I be able to skip through it? Yeah, I can, I think. Perfectly proportioned. I don't want to overshoot. With cucumber and free with free. Com slash okay, I think it's gonna pause soon. A better way to cook. But right now, it's time for a death battle. Okay, I'm getting ready to pause. All right, so I just paused it. Now it's time for judgment. Who I think is actually gonna win this fight? Um, I'm actually not sure right now because th there are a lot of advantages now that I feel Shredder has over Silver Samurai in terms of the physical stuff. You know, like the physical categories. I feel Shredder edges out in most of them. Like at least, like in terms of strength and speed. Speed, I'm actually not sure about because I'm not sure which feat is faster. About you know Silver Samurai being able to cut a bullet in half and whatever Shredder did, you know, when he was like, like at the dinner table or whatever with the spaghetti. Um, I'm not exactly sure how fast they compare against one another, but then again, Silver Samurai is able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wolverine. Um, and he is pretty fast, you know, like he was able to tag Speed Demon who goes faster than sound, 761 miles per hour. So that's pretty fast. Um, but in terms of strength, I mean, yeah, Silver Samurai was able to put like push off 600 pounds or whatever, like it was nothing, but wasn't Shredder able to like, you know, like, throw around Ninja Turtles like it's nothing, like, frequently. Not sure how much they would weigh, but he can still do it very, very quickly, or very often, you know? I just, I'm not sure... I feel he might have this, some sort of strength advantage. And I feel that in terms of battle strategy, you know, I just feel Shredder would be smarter because they even just said that um, Silver Samurai's strategies aren't that good. And they didn't really list that many weaknesses for for Shredder, you know? Like, well, Silver, yeah, Silver Samurai's, he, he's, not that, he's not that good of a strategist, I guess. But, you know, they, they didn't really list that much for Shredder in terms of weaknesses. They were saying how, like, what is it, like, you know, turning his enemies into food and, you know, stuff like, like, joke weaknesses almost. So, uh, but then I also feel that Silver Samurai has a sword that would just easily be able to cut through him. And in terms of the suit's durability, well, I mean, they said his helmet was stronger than steel. Not sure if that means the same with his entire, um, entire armor. But then they said, you know, Silver Samurais can block bullets and buildings falling on top. So I might want to say Silver Samurai's armor is a bit better. Um, I really don't know who to go for here because I feel each each character has advantages over the other. But then there's Super Shredder, which, you know, I'm just not sh I still feel Silver Samurai would be able to cut Super Shredder up, though. But I'm not sure how easy that would be because he's just physically, like, so physically intimidating at that point. Oh my god, um, man, I'm really not sure. You know, because I'm not sure, I'm gonna go with my original statement saying Silver Samurai would win. If Silver Samurai doesn't win, I completely understand, because Shredder is really powerful, and he was much better than I expected him to be. But, you know, just because I don't really know who would win right now, I'm gonna go with Silver Samurai for the win. So, if, he, if, if I'm wrong, again, perfectly understandable, I totally understand why. But let's just watch a battle. And now I'm rooting for Silver Samurai because I want to be right. <laughs> nice. I'm still surprised they would use someone like Silver Samurai in a death battle at all. Okay. So is that the book plan? Alright, nice. Yeah, I'm assuming that was the first time. All right, let's let's go. I'm excited. Ooh, okay, okay. He's getting some, getting some leverage early on. But now his sword's charged up. He should be able to cut through his sword, right? And then Shredder's without a blade. Anyway, let's just, let's just watch. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's quick. Shredder's very quick. Oh, nice. 
You know, for a 2D animation, this isn't bad. <laughs> Just cutting through them all. Don't waste your energy, Silver Samurai. Ooh, all right. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and in terms of versatility, both of them have close range and long range weaponry, so I feel that they're pretty even there. Oh. Yeah, you're fast enough. Except for Shredder is like landing a few punches and kicks. They haven't really landed any clean hits on each other yet. Oh, this is so fast paced. So oh, oh yeah, he can teleport too, but so can Silver Super Shredder, right? Oh! Oh my god! But we haven't seen Super Shredder. There we go. Okay, how's it gonna... How's this gonna... Oh, no, 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 don't... Don't do that yet, Silver Samurai. Oh, God, he's huge. <laughs> not, not... Not that huge in comparison to Silver Samurai. And there's lightning. Teleport! Or... Oh! Oh, my God! Hey, come on, Silver Samurai, just cut him up. Oh my god! Oh. That was... Oh my god, okay. Okay, I was definitely wrong. Definitely. Shredder would go far if he took up darts. Jeez. Both Shredder and Silver Samurai were incredibly tough, capable of withstanding tremendous amounts of pain. Harada's okay. armor may have been tougher, but it had plenty of exposed weak points which a fighter as precise as Shredder could exploit. Silver okay, Samurai that's fair. could throw around 600 pounds of people and cats, which is technically stronger than anything Shredder's done. But Shredder okay. has handled equally mighty mutants plenty of times. Like yeah. Shredder. While the Silver exactly. Samurai's teleportation ring did make him harder to track, he's always preferred to use it as a means of escaping a battle, not really engaging. Oh, yeah. Even when he did use it during combat, his moves were often predicted by more experienced opponents. Okay. This guy likes to come at me from behind. Okay, that's fair. Just try it out that makes your sense. Tricks, tin man. Given Shredder's talents in history, it's reasonable to believe he could do the same. Still, with Harada's Tachyon Blade and Shredder's Ninja Precision, they only needed to land one fatal hit to finish the fight. Yeah. Now the real question was, who could land the killing blow first? Silver Samurai's best speed feat, slicing an incoming bullet, yeah. locked in at one hundredth of a okay, second. Okay, so I guess Shredder was Shredder's faster. Shredder's faster than eyesight feat measured at four thousandths, making okay. him over two times faster than Harada. Okay. To be blunt, Shredder's fastest known attack was quicker than Harada's fastest known defense, oh. proving that Shredder could deal a killing blow first. Got it. Or, you know, he could just turn into Super Shredder and beat the shit out of him. I mean, Super Shredder can lift and throw a giant oil tanker like it's a beach ball at a rain. Okay, yeah. That's probably heavier than 600 pounds of people and cats. Looks like Shredder was too much for Silver to take you on. The winner <laughs> is the Shredder. Okay, yeah. I really should have put stuff like that together. Stick around. We're about to announce the combatants for the next death. I really should have. I should have. Yeah. That, that was my bad. I must have missed a lot of stuff or something. Okay, but who's next time? Wait. Who is it? Not even you oh my goodness. Smokey versus McGruff, like McGruff, Smokey the Bear versus McGruff the Crime Dog. I knew that this, I, I think I knew that this fight was coming. I think people were talking about it on like the Death Battle Wiki or something like that. I had no idea when it was coming, but now it's here. That's cool. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be more of a joke fight than anything else. Um, but who knows how they're going to handle it. I I'm, I'm excited for that one. Not going to do a prediction on it because I really don't know these characters all too well, and I'm not really sure how this fight's going to go, but I'm excited for it, so that's pretty cool. Um, in terms of this fight, yeah, the, okay, first of all, talking about the fight as a whole, um, I did really enjoy the fight. It was very fast-paced, it was very, it, I, th I thought it was pretty well done for a 2D animation, um, and you know, the, the finishing stuff was like so cool, I really enjoyed that, um, so that was, that was pretty awesome. 
Um, and, you know, and, you know, the analyses, you know, they had, they did have some jokes there and they did talk really well about the characters and talking about their best feats in terms of speed and strength and everything they've done. So overall, I thought the, the, the whole battle was put together really, really well. Um, and the whole video, but you know, in terms of me go still going for silver, silver samurai, now that they like put everything together, it seems very obvious that Shredder would win. Um, I really didn't put, I think I just, I ignored a lot of things there. Like I kind of overlooked that, you know, um, the, you know, the teleportation thing and like how he doesn't use it a lot. And I overlooked a lot of other stuff as well, including super shredder. You know, I just, I, I don't think I really thought of him as that big of a threat to silver samurai when clearly I was completely wrong in terms of speed. It's, it's clear. Like I didn't, I, obviously there's no, there's no real way. I, unless they did say the numbers earlier, there wasn't really any way I could have figured out who was faster without looking at the conclusion. Um, but you know, yeah, clearly shredder is faster in terms of speed um and i i think i and they did say i was right in turn well they didn't say i was right but like i was right in terms you know that 600 pounds is technically more than anything shredder has done but shredder does toss around a lot of mutants over and over again um so i just yeah that makes a lot of sense to me too so overall i think i just overlooked a lot of stuff that the shredder could do and i just kind of lowballed it i didn't really think of it as anything that impressive and i think i was always just jumping back to the fact that you know silver samurai he can he has a sword that can cut through anything you'd be able to cut through um shredder very easily but i guess you know i just didn't factor in you know either one of them could have taken it out with one good hit and with shredder being that much faster it just makes sense that he'd be the one to do it first so i definitely agree with this i probably overlooked so much and you know i'm sorry about that but i still hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did enjoy this reaction please give this video a huge like comment down below what you thought of it what you thought of the battle if you think silver samurai should have won tell me down below in the comments below because i'd like to know um and if you could subscribe to my channel guys that'd be so great that would really help my channel out i react to these death battles whenever i can and even if i can, even if i have to do it a bit later i still generally do it um and you know i also have a versus series on my own channel called who'd win and why which is just me talking in front of a camera giving my opinions about different versus debates um but yeah so your view is plenty of contribution anyway so thank you guys so much for watching there would be a link in the description below to the original video um and it really i really do appreciate it. i appreciate the views everything like that um and yep that was my reaction hope you guys enjoyed it and that's that's it for me. See you later and have a good night.